So I was on my way to the store, right? I had to go get some stuff that ain't none of y'all business. Anyways, this song called One More Try came on. And I'm like, whoever this is singing this song is singing this song. Now, y'all got to understand, I'm an 80s baby. A lot of music going to skip me or go above my head. I don't know when things are happening all the time, right? Wait. The song is sung by a gentleman named George Michaels. So I did some research on George Michaels. They had no clue that he was a part of the group called Wham. If you ain't never heard of Wham, Wham sung a song called Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. Leave me hanging on like a yo yo. Wake me up. Then I went back to the song. Listen, I don't know where homie got his voice from, where that soul came from. George Michaels made me cry from my spine. That man made sweat go up my navel and back into my eyes. The song is, I, you can dedicate that song to five decades of women right now. If you got a grandma down your street, dedicate that song to her. She going to come towards you with them tennis balls on her walker. She going to lift up that moo moo and she going to slow dance with you in bikini bottom. You could dedicate that song to a woman born in the 80s and 90s, early 90s, right now. And they going to react to it. If y'all ain't never heard one more try, then I Googled. I want to see how he looked. If Fabio would have had a fade, it would have been George Michaels. My mama, I don't know if she ever dated a white man, but I, I'm pretty sure my mama wanted her some vanilla in her coffee at some point in her life. George Michaels is everything that square-jawed, pretty-eyed white men are today, man. George Michaels could have been a fruit balloon model. I've never been touched by like, like by like this by a song sung by a man like this song is touching me right now. This song makes me want to call my eighth grade teacher, Miss Kennedy. I think her name was Miss Kennedy and tell her, Miss Kennedy, you know what? I was in, nah, I think she was sixth grade. I was in love with you in the sixth grade. That's why I felt because you were a distraction to me. You was a distraction to me. And if you ever want to revisit some things, if you want to get your groove back, if you want to know how it is to climb an African mountain, just let me know. This song make me want to dedicate music to the teenage mutant ninja turtle girlfriend this song makes me want to go outside and just start planting stuff for no damn reason josh you don't even got a garden who cares i want to be the rose that grew through the concrete tupac why the hell y'all ain't tell me about george michaels this generation you know what y'all millennials we slacking we got to put more pressure on our musicians to make memorable songs like this. This song going to stand and can't t stand the test of time. This is one of them songs that just can't be covered by anybody. Justin Bieber, don't you touch this song. And I love you, Justin. Ed Sharon, I need you to get in the studio right now and cover George Michaels one more try. Don't you do Wham. Leave Wham or the hell alone. The Migos, the rappers could cover Wham. I want to see Ed Sharon. I want to see this song covered by Adele. Oh, my gosh. Adele. Adele, please put your vocals and your heartbreak on this song. I'm begging you, baby.